Hey, John Cristani here, and I'm gonna be teaching you about credit cards. I'm gonna show you how you can get a good credit score in this video, what cards you want to buy and in what order, and also how you can make some freaking money using credit cards on this channel as always. So let's dive right into it. I'm gonna show you everything you ever needed to know about credit cards. Let's get into it. Hey, so John Cristani here, and we're gonna be talking about credit cards, getting a good score, what cards to get in what order, and how to make money doing it. So, ugh. okay, this leads us to our first question is, what the heck is credit? Seriously, what is credit, guys? Now, your credit score determines how much money banks and other institutions, car ownerships, anything, businesses will lend to you. And the range is 300 to 850. 300 is the lowest you can go, 850 is the highest. And what credit means is, it's actually a French word, credite, which means trust. Credit was established a while ago and it was a way because back in the olden days, it was, I mean, to tr cart truckloads of gold coins around if you wanted to buy something expensive just wasn't really plausible so they had to come up with the term credit so what exactly affects credit well there's five main factors and they're all very important to understand because they'll all determine how much money you can get at the end of the day the first factor is length how long have you had a credit history how long have you had credit cards? And for this factor, it's obviously very important. The earlier you start opening credit cards, the earlier you start building your trust within the banking institutions, the better. The next is utilization. That is a $20 word. But what utilization means simply is how much of your credit line are you using? For instance, if you open a credit card with your bank and they give you a $2,000 limit, are you using all $2,000 every month? Or are you using just a fraction of that credit? The less utilization you use, the better. But the banks wanna be seen you use some of it. So if you have a credit card with a huge limit and you're only using 5% uh, of it, that is fantastic because it shows once again, the financial institutions that you don't need to use your entire credit line. The next is very important, it's on-time payments. Are you paying off your credit card or your interest on time every month like clockwork? Or are you kind of missing a day or two here and there because, I mean, who cares? Why do you want to send your money away to the big financial institutions? The next, factor is mix. Your mix is the mix of different types of credit that you have. You might have credit cards, but you might also have a mortgage. You might also have a auto loan. You might also have a loan for that expensive mattress or furniture that you bought online. All of these are types of credit. And the more of a mix you have, the more it establishes a more solid history. And last but not least is the amount of inquiries you make. So inquiries are the amount of times you go and you check your credit or you apply for new credit lines. Now, if you are constantly applying for new credit cards in a short period of time, it's gonna send up a red flag to the banks or financial institutions that issue credit. You wanna make sure to spread your inquiries for credit cards over a period of time. Don't open up 30 in a single month. Spread that over a year. So how do you get started with credit cards? Now, the first thing is you wanna start with a secured card. A secured card is tied to a bank account that you have. 
you're going to need a bank account first, obviously. And generally, secured cards have about a $500 limit. You're not gonna have a huge limit with this. This isn't gonna change your life. You're not gonna be able to go on those spending sprees that you've always dreamed of. And you have to have a bank account tied to it so that ultimately, you are creating credit with almost your own money. It's not ideal, but it's a way to get started. And if you are 18 years old, if, if you're any age, get a credit card, start building up your credit because you'll see in just a second how credit cards can turn into massive amounts of money and real business earnings. And I'll go into that story in just a second when we reach step three. The second type of credit card you'll wanna get is what we traditionally know as a credit card. Credit cards typically have a $1,000 to $50,000 balance. The average American has a $23,000 credit card uh, limit on their card. You can carry balances on this, which means that when you get, if you get a $50,000 limit, you can spend that whole 50,000 and then just pay off the interest going forward. And here comes the exciting part. Now this is my favorite type of card. It's called a charge card. And it's what I use in my daily business. I would whip out my credit card. I would whip out my credit card, but I don't trust you guys. And charge cards have no limit, meaning you could buy a car with it. You could buy a helicopter with it. Heck, you could buy a plane with it. Charge cards can buy all of these things and then some, but you have to pay it off every month. Now, this is great. Now you might be wondering why is this so great and how the heck do you make money with this? Now, if you don't know about me, I run an internet business that makes me roughly half a million dollars every single month. And the way I was able to get started back in my 20s, my early 20s at that, without any money, without much credit history at all, was I started out by using credit cards and paying them off every month to get my limit up. Using all of the factors that I just showed you a second ago, making sure I had a proper length, utilization, on-time payments, a good mix, and not too many inquiries, I was able to get a nearly perfect credit score. And what I was able to do with that was I was able to purchase online advertising to create an affiliate marketing business, which is the type of business that I run online. I sell other people's products and I earn a commission if I make money. Now, what I'm doing is I'm buying ads and I'm hoping to make commissions off of other people's products. And I buy ads with credit cards. And to grow my business, when I find a winner, which means when I find a product I can advertise where for every dollar I make back two dollars, I want to increase my advertising overnight to as much as possible. And back when I was 24, I hit a winner. And I scaled up my advertising to so I was spending as much as twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars a day. Now at the time I didn't have twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars a day to spend, but I was able to do so because I had great credit and I was able to spend on charge cards, my American Express card in particular, and that allowed me to spend as much money as I possibly liked. And when I was getting paid, I was spending $25,000 a day, but I was making back $40,000 or more per day. So I was making that money, I just had to wait for it to get to me. And the credit cards allowed me to do that and allowed me to build my business fast. So that overnight, I went from making a reasonable income, working a job, to making hundreds of thousands of dollars of profit per month. And again, the way I was able to do that was because I was able to use other people's money using credit cards. Credit cards are insanely powerful if you use them for business purposes. And here's a disclaimer. I wouldn't suggest you just get a big credit balance so that you can buy stuff. Use credit smartly. 
Use it to build a business. Use it to build wealth. There are many ways to do so. And you'll find many videos on my channel which you can check out in links around this video or down in the description. And make sure you subscribe and smash that like button to help out the algorithm here and help educate other folks. But stop, before we go into that, I'm gonna go over some credit card myths that people believe falsely. So here's a few myths that folks believe about credit cards. First off, minimum payments. Many folks think that you just have to pay off the minimum. Many folks think that you just should pay off your interest on the credit cards, the very minimum payment, and it'll help increase your credit score. This is false, okay? It doesn't matter. What matters most is those factors we previously talked about, your utilization rate, your length, etc. The other thing people falsely believe is that checking your score often will decrease your score, okay? That's false. Again, you're allowed to check your score. You're allowed to do inquiries. Just don't do too many. Checking your score is fine. And in fact, it's recommended so that you're always staying on top of what your credit score is. There's a lot of free resources out there to check your credit card score. This is not a bad thing. In fact, knowing you can only manage what you measure. Famous quote. Another credit card myth that folks falsely believe is that having fewer cards is better. This is false. Having more cards is better. Having more of a mix of credit is also better. So again, take out as many credit cards as you want. Take out as many credit cards as you can. I used to have 100 credit cards in my business, 100, and I'd use those to continually, and I'd have my cards pay off each other. When I started a business, I didn't have money to start. All I had was credit, and you can use other people's money. You can use the financial institutions to use credit cards. This is a practice called credit card churning, and it's a, you, you can Google it. I'm not gonna go into it here, but you can use that to get a lot of money very, very quickly. Some people even use it and they create an income off of it. So check that out. And the last credit card myth is that debt is bad. No, in fact, debt is actually good. Debt helps you get more debt. Debt is only bad when you're using it to buy stupid stuff. If you're using it to buy clothes or if you're using it to buy, I don't know, just stupid stuff, you know, TVs, video games, etc., stuff that's not going to actually appreciate in value, then you're losing money. But if you're using debt to create a business, if you're using debt in my case where I was spending $1 to make $2, that's fantastic. Use debt wisely. Debt is the easiest way you can use to build a business. It allows anybody around to build a business. You have zero excuses if you are sitting there and you are not sitting on top of a fat pile of cash. And if you aren't, well, you have this channel to help you learn how. So make sure you subscribe, just, just destroy that like button, spank it a couple times for me and check out some of my videos, especially on free traffic methods. So how you can get started in making money without even spending a dime. Woo! I hope that helped you out. I hope you learned exactly how you can get credit, what credit cards to get, and also how you can make money using credit cards. Again, I shared with you a story from my personal life of how I was able to use multiple credit cards to use that to fund my entire business before I ever had a side income. And I was able to do that and grow that to almost my side income to almost $500,000 and more overnight, practically overnight with credit cards. It's absolutely amazing. Who would have thought that a 24 year old kid could grow a $500,000 a month business overnight? But you'll see, I've been written about in Forbes. I've been featured on almost every single TV channel and it's, completely possible. And this and many more hacks of how you can start a business just from the street level, from the internet level, from the electrical wires, 
that you have plugged in, the way you're watching me, it's absolutely insane. And I want to help you make more money. I want to help you quit out, drop out of school. I want to help you quit your job. I want to help you live the life of your dreams. I want to help you stop waking up to an alarm clock every day or going on a commute and living a life that you're not satisfied with and that is not making your parents proud. I want to help you live a life that's fantastic, that's James Bond version of yourself. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, make sure you like this video, and leave a comment, anything that you want. Let me know, hoorah, if you're excited or just type in a question, whatever it is. I want to hear from you. I want to motivate you. I want to show you that anything you put your mind to is possible. And we're going to do it together. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.